Hey, you go. I thought Pedro was crazy before all this. Now he's really crazy. See, si, that guinea pig needs a siesta. All animals need a sleep. Or like Pedro, their minds turn to go. They plan bad siestas for 20 long hours. But the giraffe, he needs only two. And now Pedro starved and is snoozing. He's sweaty and smells really bad. He's lost all of his concentration. And got cranky, forgetful, and sad. Sleep, guinea pig, sleep. Sleep, guinea pig, sleep. If you don't, your brain will explode. So sleep, 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 go to sleep. Wow, Pedro's actually done it. This place is crazy loco. Underwater, deep down here, is Pedro searching everywhere in the waters of the world so vast and full. Full of creatures, what a rain. Freaky, funky, scary space. Some that glow with bioluminescence. Look, Hugo, I can do bioluminescence too. Ooh, psychedelic. Bioluminescence, bioluminescence, bioluminescence. That idiot has dissolved the floor. Whoa, that acid is bad. Oh, Frank is such a foolish chump. He dissolved the lab for that shiny lump. But then gold so amazing, it has to be said. Something up to hammer into sheet of red. Press the spread, it hardly wears down. Useful in computers, plates, and crowns. Frank's a chump for that shiny lump. He dissolved the lab into a stinky dump. A shiny lump, shiny lump. What a chump, what a chump. A shiny lump, shiny lump, for that shiny lump of gold. Crazy Pedro has gone too far. <laughs> See, Hugo, you cannot just put a plug in a volcano. Pedro seemed to be so smart. Knew where the eruption would start. Earthquakes rumbled, earth swelled hot. But he's nothing but an old crap pot. Frank is an animal! Yeah, scary! Frank was so mild, gentle to the core, but now he's become a super predator! Frank, now he's sheeping a torn, with a terrifying roar, like a tyrannosaur. Now listen, the wolf smells his prey, Stinky. the hawk sees far away, Hello. the lion tears with claws, no, the shark bites with jaws, Where? but all went through their pants, if they face this fierce of Frank, he's, he's a, a super predator, Frank the sheep in a Art crazy, everything is local, oh, 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 what a chump, Pedro has really blown it this time. This is Pedro's dumbest blunder. He has thrown away the moon of oh, goodbye moon. Oh, goodbye moon, oh, goodbye moon. Now that moron made it thunder, cause the world it needs the moon. We need the moon. We need the moon. Plants and animals could go under if that fool don't fix it soon. Oh, come back moon. Oh, come back moon. The earth will be torn asunder, cause Pedro's a real buffoon. Oh, we lost the moon. moon. See, almost as bad as your bread. <laughs> this proves that Pedro's really stupid. The flower he has picked smells so putrid. Not all flowers are fragrant like the rose. Some stink so bad they'd break your nose. Some flowers smell good to you and me. Others attract the birds, bats, or bees. But some smell like stinky beer parts. Pedro won't get a girl with a flower that smells of rotting animal parts! Thanks to Frank and Chump, we will all get infected by giganto germs! See, si, Poco, he should have left them small! Oh, Frank made the viruses huge and ugly, so much bigger than they should ever be. So how small is each virus? How small, how small? As big as hair on a sheep. Small, as small. As big as a nose on a teeth. Oh, small, as small. As like little toes on my feet. Still small, as small. As they're, they're so small, small that you'll never see. see. Yes, smaller than a teardrop on a spider's eye. Hundreds could hide on the foot of a fly, but Frank made his virus so big and so tall. How we wish they stayed so very small. <laughs> oh, I 
<laughs> Pedro made a big bulb. So what? That Pedro's a fool, a tonto. For the bulb was created years ago. In 1860, it came on. Invented by England's Joseph Swan. Ah, nice beard, Mr. Swan. Oh, look! I've got bulbs in my beard, bulbs in my beard, bulbs in my beard. I've got bulbs in my beard, bulbs in my beard, bulbs in my beard. I've got bulbs. Hey, Hugo, this doesn't look good. We are all going to be a spider snack. Uh-oh. Hector, I have a nasty hunch. Thanks to Pedro, we're gonna be lunch. The spiders tied us up so tight. If we hang around, it'll be back to a bite. When they get their fangs in you, your insides melt to a gloopy goo. Oh, well, no. What can we do? We're lunch on a spider's menu. Don't turn me into soup. We're lunch on a spider's menu. On a spider's menu. On a spider's menu. On a spider's menu.